and welcome. welcome back to another video. So it's Tuesday in Manchester, just finished work, so we're going on a bar crawl. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited to film this video because if you know me and Gaz, we like a drink. So, I don't. Yes, you're the worst one for it. Going on a walk, go for a drink. Going to the supermarket, go for a drink. <laughs> the supermarket? Unpack the dishwasher, having a drink. So we're gonna show you around our top five bars in Manchester in our opinion. A little bit of a disclaimer, we are not the bougiest of people, are we? Talk about yourself. I like a, I like a fine drink. <laughs> You're in a fleece, love. <laughs> Says all, doesn't it? I want to let people know that if you're looking for 20 stories or Lost in Tokyo, you're probably on the wrong channel. We're more up for... If you for... want a cheap pint in an old boozer. No, well, we're in the middle. I'd say we're a 5 out of 10 bouginess. We're just up for a good time, aren't we? We are. We're up for a good time. It doesn't have to be flashy for us. So, those are the bars you're going to find. We're going to show you around and give you some top tips on where to go when you come to Mas Manchester for a bed. Manchester. Manchester. Wee. Let's go. Right, first bar. <laughs> First stop is Cutting Room Square in Ancoats, where if you've heard of Ancoats and you haven't been here in a few years, it's supposed to be up and coming. But I feel like it's no longer up and coming. It is up. It's a place to go for a bev, day, night, mum, dad, boyfriend, whatever. It's a great place for a bev. Nice so, Sunday lunch as well. Good Sunday lunch. So we're going to show you there and go to one of our favourite bars in that area. Jaina, which is owned by two brothers, and they named the pub in memory of their mum. It's really nice, and it's a really small, independent little bar, which is really cute inside. It has a really nice interior, really friendly staff. That's the one thing why we named it one of our top five, is the staff are so friendly here. What did you get? Um, so I've got a glass of wine now, but we did just have Love of Hades, which is essentially a margarita, but a posh one, it tasted very smoky. So they do really cool, short cocktail lists. But the main reason why we're here is we love being in the cutting room square. It's got a really, really really nice atmosphere, it's really fun to people watch and it gets really busy on the weekends. Nothing better than a nice summer's drink in Manchester, eh? <laughs> Might take my top off. Okay, so we have just left Anko and now we're heading into the northern quarter. Still raining, which is great, but who cares? And we're going to go to Terrace, which is one of our favourite bars to go. Best rooftop bar. Funny enough, because it's got a terrace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good one, although it's raining. Who, I don't know who came up with the name there. Pretty sick. <laughs> going to a rooftop bar and it's raining. So Someone give him a medal. Wish us luck. <laughs> Bartender came over and said Long Island iced tea. Had no idea that's what he was ordering. You get like five drinks in one gin, boom, tequila, boom, rum, boom, vodka, boom, all in one. It's also absolutely chucking it down with rain and we're under this umbrella for shelter. But we promise that it's so nice to come up here when it's sunny. We picked the worst day ever to show you the bars. This our is favorite like the bars. worst bar called anyone's ever seen. So just imagine everything blue skies. Pumping music, happiness. Not just two people sitting under an umbrella, shivering. <laughs> yeah, I like got a gin and tonic, which they're famous for, so. <laughs> actually usually before Covid played really cool hip hop, nice music, it was a really good night for yeah, a night it was out, decent, wasn't it? Yeah. So if you're here after Covid times then go in there for a good club and time. Anyway next stop is Dive Bar which has a really cool outdoor area. Slowly getting more and more drunk so and wet. be more prepared. And more wet at the same time. <laughs> and so off we swayed to Dive Bar. If we were doing this video a few years ago this place would not have been on the list but with this new renovated outdoor area it's such a nice place for a drink. Had to do a little bit of a talk over here because it was so loud in the bar, but this is one of the more bar bars, if you get me. Swanky drinks, swanky lights, hence why this footage is so red. Outdoor heaters, but best of all, the fried chicken is unreal. We would suggest this place for a few hours of drinks, whether that be before your night out or just for a nice date night like ours. We had a really nice time that night, and then 
Okay, so apparently five beers, no food, and a lot of rain on a Tuesday is not a good idea. So we headed home that night, and now we're heading back out on a Thursday to show you our last two bars. You ready, guys? Yeah, come on. Let's go. I don't cross my teeth. So we have arrived in Far Hop on Canal Street, which is in the gay village, and it's one of our favourite places to come for a very heavy night, isn't it, Gaz? Very heavy. Before COVID, this was the party place. Too heavy almost. Yeah, it's a good one. COVID times plus 2021, we've got a really nice outdoor area along the street to get a drink, which is two £10 cocktails, so super cheap. Very nice mojito here, and it's just generally a really nice inclusive place to come. It's a good vibe. Good vibe, and they have lots of um, drag acts as well to come watch, so if you want to come for a really good fun time here's the place and sometimes on a Saturday someone comes around with a trolley and serves jelly shop and you can also buy poppers if you're into that kind of thing so we love it here don't we guys cheers to that okay so next stop Oxford Street which is where our Oxford Road Oxford Road which is where our best and final bar is it's a good bar yeah top notch if you're gonna go to one bar in Manchester it's go there. a yes bar isn't it yeah it's so good it's a yes from us oh god <laughs> Pizza, got vegan food, gluten free food, good music, good vibes. It's got three floors. Before lockdown, the basement used to be a club, which was pretty sick. Hopefully, like, it reopens soon. Yeah, we used to love going there. And then there's the middle floor, which is like pretty chill. The DJ's there, some nice food. And then you've got the terrace area, which is where we are now, which is like quite nice, like a bit more posh. Get some nice drinks. But it's just generally a good place oh, to chill out with friends. The terrace is good on a night out, though. Yeah, it like, is. You can go up from the bottom floor and chill on the terrace with them. The best thing about Yes Bar is it's got everything, something for everyone. Like you can like, chill, you can literally you can go party. at 12 in the afternoon or 2 a.m. Yeah, top notch, you should come. Um Home. We're back. We hope you enjoyed our top five bars in Manchester. We did. It's been two nights of boozing throughout one week, so we're not going to thank ourselves next week, but it's been a good one, hasn't it? It has. It we has. hope you guys come and visit what we've suggested because we really do really enjoy those bars. They do beer. But especially yes, bar. It has got all the vibes, hasn't it, Gaz? It has. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and we'll see you next week for next week's adventure. Bye!